we're going to continue on talking about math strategies and we're going to look at how to use number bonds to solve one step word problem. So in lesson two, your whole lesson in second grade is about solving one step word problems. And a big strategy they use is using the number bonds to help us. Now, the reason that this is a good strategy is because in a one step word problem, we're going to go back to what we know about number bonds, and that is having a whole and the two parts that make up the whole. All right. And if you think about reading those word problems and trying to find the whole and then trying to find the parts, then that's going to help you process through and think through this word problem. So let's read the problem together. All right. It says, I'm going to underline some stuff as we read. Seth ate nine grapes. So I'm going to underline nine grapes. That's important, all right? Then his dad gave him more grapes. So he's getting some more, and he ate them, okay? Then he ate 15 grapes. And there's those words right there. I'm going to circle them in all. In all is a phrase that kind of helps us know that we're looking at the total. And it says, how many grapes did Seth's dad give him? So let's think through our story, okay? One thing about story problems is if you close your eyes and you try to think through what happened, it helps you visualize and help you come up with what you need to do. So close your eyes for a second and just listen. So Seth ate nine grapes. So picture Seth eating nine grapes from a bowl, all right? So they're all gone. He ate nine of them. So then his dad gave him some more. So picture his dad coming over, giving him a few more grapes, and it says he ate them. All right, so he had the nine grapes. He ate the grapes that his dad now gave him. And it said Seth ate 15 grapes in all. So that's our total. So what we're trying to figure out is what's missing. And that's what his dad gave him. So let's go back to our part, part hole. You can open your eyes again. And let's think about our hole. Our hole was how many did he eat in all? He ate 15 grapes in all, all right? So that's the total. And we're trying to figure out how to get to that hole. Well, what do we know back from the problem? I know that his dad gave him some grapes, but I know that he also started out with grapes. He started out with nine grapes, and his dad gave him some more. So over here is where his dad gave him some. Here's what he started with. Here's what his dad gave him. And so we use that number bond to kind of help us figure out what's missing. All right, now I can count on. I can start with nine and count on to 15. Or if I know my facts, I might know that nine and six give me 15. So his dad gave him six scrapes. Now let's look at one more example. Okay, still thinking about number bonds. And... Here, I drew a picture. Some of us might need to draw a picture, and that's fine. But I drew a picture, and it's also kind of set up like a number bond. So let me read the problem. And again, I'm going to underline some information while I read. All right? And if you want to close your eyes and listen to the story, you can. And you'll open back up and see the stuff I've highlighted. So it says, there are 15 players on a team. I know 15 players is important. So I'm picturing them in my head. 15, maybe basketball players or football players, or maybe it's softball players. But there they are standing together in their team uniforms, 15 of them. There are seven girls. The rest of the players are boys. How many boys are on the team? So if I picture those 15 players all lined up together, let's say that each one of them has a number on their jersey, starting with one, two, three, four, all the way up to 15. All right, and the first seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is girls. So if you open up your eyes and look at my picture, here's my 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is my whole team, all right? My whole team has 15 people on it. And I said, you know, if you can picture the first seven being girls. So I have a one-to-one -one correspondence here. There's one girl, two girls, three girls, four girls, five girls, six girls, seven girls. And they kind of line up with the pictures from the whole team. So then all we have to do is figure out what's left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boys. So this was the whole. This was the part that was girls and put a G there. 
This is the part that was boys, and we said that there were now eight. So if I fill in the number bottom below, again, my whole team was made up of 15 people with seven girls and eight boys. All right, so pictures even then can be put into a number bond to help us solve those one-step word problems.